Hello, my name is Nicola LaCorey, Executive Director and CEO here at Florida's Turnpike. In celebration of Engineers Week 2021, we want to recognize the individuals who create today's awe-inspiring wonders in the field of transportation. One of our most innovative projects designed by engineers is SunTrax, a first-of-its-kind technology testing center dedicated to the research and development of emerging transportation technologies. In a few moments, you'll see a video about SunTrax. One of the facility's focus areas is to improve safety and efficiency through testing different transportation technologies, including automated vehicles. One day, perhaps by the time you get your driver's license, you'll have a car that drives itself. Technology being developed to make automated cars as safe as possible is already being tested at SunTrax. I sure hope this video and the stories you'll hear from our engineers will inspire you to imagine and dream. Situated on 475 acres in Polk County in Central Florida, SunTrax is accelerating the future of transportation. The first phase of the project was completed in 2019 and construction on Phase 2 is currently underway. So Phase 2 is obviously the construction of the connected and automated vehicle infield facility. Uh, we kicked it off a few months ago, beginning of this year. We haven't lost any time over the last six months with all of the uh, events that have been going on. We are on track to wrap it up in late 2021. It's been going great. The $138 million project will build areas in its 200-acre infield to test and challenge connected and autonomous vehicles, or CAVs. The project will also feature various segmented testing environments, including shipping containers that will be used to create flexible and reconfigurable facades that simulate city-like buildings. Well, one of our design principles for the infield was we, we wanted it to be flexible and reconfigurable. So what we decided to do is to use shipping containers to, so that we can create buildings out there. Um, day one, customer comes in, they might want a three-story building. The next day, somebody might want a five-story building. So we can recreate those environments. We can also hang facades off the front of those shipping containers of various materials, glass, metal, wood, whatever a customer may need so that we can provide them with the facility that uh, best suits their needs. Program Administrator Paul Satchville says SunTrax represents a bold vision and investment in the future of transportation technology. When fully operational, test sectors will be available for lease and both national and international CAV companies have expressed interest. Phase 1 has already garnered recognition. It was recently given the Toll Excellence Award for Technology from IBTTA and was also recognized by SASHTO as part of the annual America's Transportation Awards competition. Construction on Phase 2 will be completed in late 2021. Hi, my name is Christina Colon. I'm the Director of Transportation Development with Florida's Turnpike. The Turnpike team is very proud to be a part of SunTrax and imagine how tomorrow's transportation will leverage technology to provide a safe transportation system that ensures the mobility of people and goods, enhances economic prosperity, and preserves the quality of our environment and communities. We have no doubt that some of you watching this video will one day lend your imagination and creativity to the innovative technologies that come out of SunTrax. Now, Meet some of our team members who imagine tomorrow through projects like SunTrax and beyond. Hi, my name is Susan Sadigi and I am an engineer. Before a project like SunTrax can be built, the funds need to be approved. No funds, no project. My team puts together a priority list of transportation projects that goes through many layers of approval. Once the funds are approved, the project can start. Hi, I'm Jennifer Stoltz and I'm a planner. A good project starts with good planning. My team coordinates with county and city governments so that we can be good partners on projects such as SunTrax. We also hold public meetings so members of the community can see what we are proposing to do and where we plan to do it. We use public and local government input to make our transportation projects better. Hi, I'm Lori. I'm an engineer. Although a lot of our day is spent in front of the computer, the day in the life of the engineer also includes time out in the field. On projects like SunTrack, it means we use tools like drones to investigate all 475 acres. It's a lot of fun to go out here and use a tool like this. 
Hi, my name is Jasmine Haywood. I am an engineer and I get to imagine tomorrow every day. I manage a team of other engineers and planners and scientists to create a conceptual solution to a transportation need. Another team will then design the concept and produce a set of construction plans. We are very excited to see how the technologies that come out of SunTracks will change the way we address our transportation needs. Hi, I'm Heather Roberts and I'm a transportation engineer. What does transportation mean today? Well, today we use cars, bicycles, walking, buses, or sun rail to get where we want to go. What will transportation mean tomorrow? Well, tomorrow our cars, buses, and even our trains may drive themselves. So while today I design signs, traffic signals, and pavement markings for people to read, tomorrow I'll design these same features for cars to read without the help of a human driver. Our SunTrax facility will test how well self-driving vehicles respond to signs, obstacles on the roadway, and even weather. Hi, I'm Stephanie Sharp, and I'm a roadway engineer. Roads take people where they want to go. We design the pavement to withstand heavy trucks, make sure vehicles can navigate through curves, and make sure the roads are designed to move people and goods safely and efficiently. In the future, our roadways may include tracks for high-speed rail, or solar panels to charge our cars while they drive. One thing is certain, our transportation network will continue to adapt in the future. Hi, I'm Erin Yao, and I am a drainage engineer. Living in Florida, we know that it rains a lot. As a drainage engineer, I help manage stormwater so that it doesn't cause any flooding and so that we can keep our water clean. Florida's Turnpike is always looking for opportunities to think outside the box and look to the future. One example of this is the pervious pavement we just installed in our parking lot. This is a special type of pavement that lets water drain through it. Imagine tomorrow when we can reduce the number and size of ponds we need to widen our roads by using this pavement instead. Hi, I'm Sneha Lambari and I'm a structural engineer. I design bridges, sign structures, gantries for tolling equipment, just to name a few. For those of you who love math, my job includes a lot of calculations. In order to design safe structures, I have to calculate different types of loads, such as weight of the people, vehicles, toll equipment, signs, and even forces from hurricane winds. Structural engineers help design the entrance bridge at Sun Tracks, the observation tower, gantries over the roadway that contain all of our tolling equipment, and even office buildings at the front of the facility. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed learning about Sun Tracks and meeting some of our engineers that dream up creative, practical solutions and work with teams of smart, inspiring people to invent, design, and create things that matter. And did you notice? Just as some of your classmates are learning from home, some of our team members are working from home. Our work environment may have changed, but we continue to work together to imagine tomorrow.